Hello guys, recently on Laravel Daily we released a new premium tutorial called Laravel Database Structure 11 Mistakes Developers Make. We teamed up with my colleague Modestas and picked the most typical mistakes we could find and in this video I will read part of that tutorial for you. The full tutorial is available for premium members but on YouTube as usual I release some of the content for free. So let's read the first three typical mistakes. Mistake number one is not using foreign keys. Pretty often I see something like this. So there's clients and client has many orders, but instead of doing foreign key, a developer does something like this. Just client or client ID as a field, but it's just a field in the database, integer field without the foreign key on the database level, which works kind of fine and you don't see any errors until you get a situation like this. So you delete the client and then the order stays in the database because, well, there is no foreign key to restrict that. And then when viewing the list of orders, you get this error because there's no client anymore for that order. In the database, it looks like this. So you have an order, but you don't have a client. The solution is to have foreign key, which can be done like this or in a shorter syntax table foreign ID. In that case, the database will protect you. So if you try to delete the client, which has orders, you will get an error while deleting. So database will prevent you from deleting, but then the order table will still work. So that's mistake number one. Mistake number two is incorrect column types in general, but the example of this is not using relationship, but using a string field instead. So for example, order may belong to many clients, and instead of doing a belongs to many eloquent relationship with pivot table, a developer may do something like this with comma separated client IDs. So a string field, varchar field in the database, and then when they need to query that, or perform more relationship operations, they are very limited on operations with those comma separated values. And also such approach is much worse in performance in speed. Instead, you should do something like this. So client order pivot table with the schema from the database level, and then you get the full power of using the database for what it's supposed to do. The third typical mistake is not using index on database columns. And here's an example, client table with 10,000 records, orders table with a million records, seed some data without any index. This typical eloquent query will take four seconds. But if we add index here on client ID, the result will be much faster. It's not even one second, it's one millisecond. Indexing in general is much deeper topic on database level. So this is outside of this tutorial, but on eloquent level, on Laravel level, you should add indexes to those columns that would be often searched or ordered by. That would generally, in most cases, make them faster. So yeah, three typical mistakes in this video, but all 11 of them are in the tutorial and I will link that in the description below. If you have any more mistakes to add to that list, shoot in the comments below or we can discuss the ones that I already mentioned and see you guys in the comment section below and in other videos.